In this video, we will discuss the integration of Cloud Web Security Platform with Webtela. Webtela can integrate with Cloud Security Platforms like Zscalers and others to simplify how traffic is routed from the site which has direct internet access. Locations with direct internet access introduces significant security risks which are difficult to manage. The integration makes it easy to establish and secure local internet breakouts and enable faster secure policy based access to the internet as well as business critical cloud applications from branch and remote office locations. Of course, all these without deploying stacks of security appliances at each location. Viptela supports any cloud security platform that has the ability to terminate GRE tunnels. In this demo, we will use the attached topology. We have three sites with local internet breakouts. We will create GRE tunnels from the respective branch VHS to the cloud security provider and route local internet traffic directly from the VH routers to this platform. I have also already predefined few web filter policies which denies access to certain categories of sites. So with that, let's begin. To configure this integration, let's begin with modifying the template that is associated to the device. So let's go to templates. So I have a VHDIA template associated with VH7. So let's go and edit the template. And here, let's go to transport VPN and add our VPN interface GRE template to it. So let's go ahead and create a new template. Let's give it a name GRE interface template. Let's make it a global parameter with a no shutdown. Let's call this interface GRE1. The source address for the GRE tunnel would be device specific. So let's change it to device specific. And let me just change the prompt to something meaningful. So let me call this GRE1 source IP address. So GRE destination address would be the destination address of my cloud service provider, which is 192.168.62.2 in my case, and it's a global parameter because it's consistent. So let's go and check the IP address as well. Again, this would be device specific. And again, let me change the prompt to something meaningful, something like GRE1 interface IP address. don't think I need to change anything else so I'll go ahead and hit save let's go back to our transport VPN and that's our interface GRE template so let's create our service VPN as well so let's go ahead and create a new template and let's call this templates VH LAN temp VPN template This is VPN 11. So let's come down. And here we need to add the GRE route because we want to route the traffic through the GRE tunnel to the cloud service provider. So I'm going to add our default prefix. And this GRE tunnel should go out of VPN 0. So I'm going to say it as 0. And then the GRE interface that I'm going to use is the GRE1 interface which I created earlier. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit add. And that's it for this VPN template. That's a prefix. It's going through VPN0. And then hit save. Let's go back to service VPN and add our interface to the service VPN. So let's again create a new template. And call this VHLAN interface template. Let's make it global and no shutdown. The interface name for the LAN subnet is GE0 slash 2. Uh, 
down the IP address parameters again would be specific because we want this template to be uh, useful for other VHS as well. So I'm just going to change the prompt again to VPN11 GE0 slash 2. IP address that's it I don't think anything else is required let's hit save and that's our service VPN so let's go ahead and click update so there's a template so let's go ahead and edit the device templates and pass on all the required parameters so I have the GRE1 interface IP address which in my case would be 192.168.63.26 slash 30. The source IP address is 192.160.26 and my service VPN address is 57.1 slash 24. So let's hit update. So we have passed on all the parameters. So let's hit next. Let's configure devices. And let's wait for the template to get updated. So templates successfully pushed. So let's go back to uh, network. Let's go to V at seven. Let's go to troubleshooting. Let's go to simulate flows. Here let's click VPN 11, which is our service VPN. Let's use a source as Jesus slash 2 and destination as 8.8.8, .8 .8, which is a address on the internet. And there you go, you see that the internet traffic is actually flowing through our GR interface, which we just created. Now if you use an uh, IP address, which is behind any other VH, like 53.1, you can see that the traffic is actually load balanced between the two transport links, which the VH is connected to. Let me log on to the Ubuntu machine, which is connected behind VH7. So let me clear this. Uh, let's do a quick IP config. You can see it's part of 57.network, which is the VH7 LAN. Let's do a ping to 8.8.8 .8 .8 and it's successful. So let's go ahead and open a web browser. Let's open google.com. And you can see that we are successfully able to browse the internet. Now let's try to browse a site which should be blocked because of the policies. So let's go to www.playboy.com and you can see that the site is blocked by the cloud web security provider. Thus with the integration we are now able to extend the required security policies and establish a secure way of connecting our branches with local internet breakout. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.